first day of uh, first day of school. So very excited to go to high school again. First day of school in Germany is a much bigger event than it is in the U.S. It's really like a family event. I mean, especially for kids who are going into the first grade, which is their first year of real school. It's a really big day for them. Their parents dress up, they get dressed up nicely, they have their little shul tuta, and their families bring them to school, and then... No. My map fell. I can't. Ah. So it was really just nice to see that so many family members uh, coming with the kids on their first day of school and then a lot of times in German schools they have church and then everyone's dressed up for that and it's just, it's so, it's so awesome. It really is a great way to kick off the year. And they have some pretty cool first day of school traditions. Uh, for example, one tradition is to give students these on their first day of school. It's called a Schultuta or a kinder cone. And what this is, it's a uh, paper cone and inside is uh, candies and school supplies and goodies. As you can see, my host mom gave me my very own um, Schultuta for my first day of school. And it's a, a really cool German tradition, I think. And I only wish this was in the US while I was in school because that would have been awesome. So another big thing is going to church on the first day of school and I'm not sure exactly what's up with that. Um, I'll do some research when I get home and explain that in a sec. Yeah, so I did some research online and the reason is because the church and school are actually very interconnected. Uh, religious classes and religious instruction is actually a part of the required curriculum which is another big difference from schools in the US. Germany is mostly Christian, with about 60% of the people identifying with that religion. So the majority of religion classes taught in school are some form of Christianity. Students, of course, who are not Christian and there is not a religious option, take an ethics course. Talking in full about the German education system would take a, a long and complicated explanation because the German education system is a very complicated and somewhat controversial system. There are many different schools that students can go to and sometimes whether or not they go to these schools depend on their academic level and that's very different from the U.S. There's Hauptschule, Realschule, Gymnasium, Mittelschule, uh, Kindergarten, I mean there's so many different schools here. It would take me a while to explain it and I don't know about all of it yet. So just wait in a later video. I promise I will go over in depth about the German education system. You know, of course, I've already graduated high school, so going back to high school is a little weird, but the German system is very, very different, like I said. So I am actually really excited to experience that firsthand. The school that I'm going to be going to while I'm here is a gymnasium, and it's a type of high school, and this type of high school goes from grades five to 12th, and it's kind of the higher level high school. The kids who go here are on track to go to university. Um, I'm not getting grades at this school and my class schedule is very modified to fit my needs because the real reason I'm here is to make friends and to learn German. So hopefully I can make some friends while I'm here, learn some German. I don't know. I start tomorrow, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. So I'm going to set my alarm for the wonderfully terrible time of 6.30 a.m. So one of the most critical decisions you'll make on your first day of German high school is picking out what to wear. And this is important because this is going to be the way that people perceive you. You want your first impression to be good and you want to kind of break down all barriers with stereotypes. Wearing something that will match the culture is very important. The more European you dress, the better. You definitely kind of want to relate to people. That way they're more welcoming. And they'll perceive it as you trying hard to be a part of the culture, which is good. So this is my short guide on what to wear on the first day of German high school. First is the shirt, and I recommend a tight-fitting, wrinkled Ford Escape, Ford-built tough t-shirt is definitely going to be your best bet by far. Think on. Next up, pants. Definitely you're going to go with a loose-fitting blue jeans. The older the better, I think. No fancy designer stuff. Now yeah, there's not really much more to that. Oh yeah, nice and, nice and comfortable. Now next up is shoes. Now, I recommend cowboy boots, and I would be wearing mine today if they weren't misplaced in customs. Yeah, so that's about it. I don't recommend any accessories or anything fancy. Um, 
You know, of course, you're gonna want to have your freedom on you, but if you're an American, then that's no problem. Maybe a hat if it's cold. Of course, only if it's sports, red, white, and blue. You're not gonna want to wear anything else, really. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot for the first day of school. I think a pencil will really do. Um, I don't have a backpack though, and my host sister said there was a backpack somewhere. So, Found it. is that really the only one? Yeah. All right, thanks for driving me. Um, do you have any advice? Make good grades. Okay, well, I'm not really getting grades. Just be yourself, and I'm pretty sure they'll like you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, have fun. One could make the argument that this is uh, it's terrifying. Whew. That doesn't start for 15 more minutes, so I might just check out the school. That's just like an open air garden right in the middle of the school. So it's almost time for my meeting now and I've just been walking around the school and um, the school is actually really nice. Um, there's art everywhere and there's science experiments on the wall and things you can like touch and it's really, really, really cool. But still I have not heard a single sound, nor have I seen like more than three people. It's crazy. Um, I did get my schedule. But I didn't actually go to any classes. I did today have a uh, gym class on the schedule. It's called sport and it's literally playing a different sport. Uh, they have options like swimming and badminton and volleyball and soccer and... So anyway, I went in with my schedule and said, hey, you know, I need to choose a sports class. And she said, okay, on that day we have swimming and volleyball. And I was like, all right, great, uh, I'll take volleyball. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, that's only a girls class. Oh, really? You know what, it's fine. You know, go ahead, sign me up for it. They're part of the culture too. I'll, I'll get through it, I'll deal with it. Girls volleyball, you know, that's fine. It wasn't ideal, but you know, I can make it work. This is an exaggeration of how she responded. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So I feel like I keep saying this, but I actually have school again tomorrow, but I won't film anything tomorrow. I will actually just wait till the end of the week, Friday, and then talk about my week as a whole when I actually can get in and get some classes in German high school. Finally. There's another high school right down the road down there that's literally right next to a Chili's. I mean, the Chili's is so accessible to them, it's ridiculous. It's right across the street. So my only real complaint without actually going to the school yet is that it's not that school. It's not the school next to the Chili's. <laughs>